Temple Tough, Behind the Scenes with Temple Football, is presented by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. Last time on Temple Tough. Athletic Equipment Supervisor Paul Kelly and his dedicated staff of students prepared the Owls gear in advance of their first road trip of the season. I want you to feel the passion in the stadium. I want the passion in the stadium to infuse you. It was a blowout at Beaver Stadium, and in a hostile environment, Temple couldn't overcome Penn State in a 24-13 defeat. We had our opportunities in that game. We had our opportunities to make some plays that we didn't make. And it was a second bye week for the Owls, who worked hard to correct their issues, all in anticipation of their long-awaited return to the Big East Conference. Don't knock it down, okay? You're just going to redirect the cut into your shins instead of your knee. Knock it back. Welcome to the Big East. Make a statement. Welcome to the Big East. Make a statement. Coyer will keep it. Coyer, open field, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Chris Coyer and the Temple Owls take a 6-0 lead. Temple leads 30-28 from the 35. It's a 45-yard attempt for the lead with a minute 19 to play. Here's the snaps down. The kick is away. We're Philadelphia's team. We're the oh, yeah. The cornerstone of Temple's offensive attack is the running game. Last season, Bernard Pierce and Matt Brown wreaked havoc on opposing defenses. But Pierce has gone to the NFL, and Brown has a new running mate. Enter Boston College transfer, Montel Harris. When I came on the visit, met with the coaches, uh, hung with some of the players, I just felt like it was a great place for me to come finish up. And um, also, they like to run the ball, and I'm a running back, so that's a great thing. Harris was the Eagles' all-time leading rusher, with over 3,700 yards in his career at BC and was an ideal fit for the Owls backfield. The best thing that he did, he just came in and wanted to work. He wanted to fill in. He didn't want to try to replace anyone. He didn't want to try to be anyone he wasn't. He uh, just came in and wanted to work and improved every single day and just showed everyone why he is a special back just by his work ethic alone. I definitely want to play at the highest level I can play on. So I will say I'm the biggest critic of myself. and Every time I make mistakes, I try to make them right and be the best player I can be. A preseason All-American choice Harris has been hindered on the field early in the 2012 season with a nagging hamstring injury. But as the Jacksonville, Florida native gets back to 100%, his number of carries and yardage should be on the way up. Every running back wants the ball in their hands, so that's I'm trying. I want to be that guy. I want to make the play, and that's going. That's what we're going to try to do this year: make big plays. At full strength. Harris has the potential to make big contributions immediately in the Temple offense. He can be the back that he's been throughout his career. He can be that, the back that can gain 100 yards every single game. He can be a back that can change the game, not only in the running game, but in the passing game as well. He can hurt the defense in a lot of different ways, and the defense have to account for him in, in multiple formations, multiple sets. And he can be a back that can, can transform our offense and, and keep us dynamic no matter who's in the game. Harris will be a major player in helping the Owls transition to what's known on campus as the return. Big East Conference play is just days away, but the process of getting Temple back here was anything but easy. To have the football program back to where it is today and having won the first bowl in 32 years and playing our first Big East game almost seems surreal. And when Steve Adazio came in, Steve needed to take it from where it was there to where it is today. So it, it was just a feeling of exhilaration, 
all those superlatives that you can imagine that went through my mind and others' minds who had lived through very difficult times, a very rough road, a very steep climb at the end to get back in the Big East. Very satisfying. Rejoining the conference has been a target for Temple's athletic administrators, but for Big East Commissioner Mike Oresco, adding Temple was as big for the conference as it was for the university. It's an outstanding university. Uh, it also has uh, you know, a resurgent football program. It has a very strong basketball tradition, and this is a great addition to our conference. It's a great addition um, for a lot of reasons. And being in Philadelphia as well, one of the major markets, it's really uh, you know, right in the, in the, in the wheelhouse of, of the Big E. So this is a, it's a wonderful addition for us. It's a great time for Temple Athletics. And with such a bright future for its football team, it has an opportunity to grow with a conference that will soon have coast-to-coast -coast appeal. Well, in football, you really could have on a Saturday coast-to-coast -coast football on any given Saturday, meaning with the four different time zones that Big East football represents. So this coast-to-coast -coast kind of exposure, uh, I am certain is gonna be very attractive for any television partners that we're negotiating for. We are a national presence, but in that is some strength because one, we cover four time zones. We are the template now for what is emerging as uh, as conferences that don't have the same geographical boundaries that they once had. Uh, there was something to be said for that, but the world has changed. Everything has changed. Uh, membership has changed. There's been more, you know, flux. And so consequently, this is a template for a new kind of conference. Next year, all of Temple's Olympic sports will join the conference as well, giving the Owls the opportunity to be an impact athletic program like never before. This is an exciting opportunity. And if I didn't think so, I probably wouldn't have taken the job. I think that there's a tremendous, you always want to be in a position where if you do things right, you know, there's going to be a good, a good chance for success. And there is in this conference. We're going to be extremely successful. We've been successful. Now we have to convince people that we're going to be as or more successful going forward, and we will. I think it, it all comes together at the, at the right time and allows our young men and women and our, our coaches to recruit the best young men and women in the country to Temple University. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better honest. Minds made. Ideas made. Breakthroughs made. Status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way, always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar, Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better, honest. What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great certified pre-owned. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. It's homecoming week at Temple, and that, paired with the anticipation for the Owls' first Big East game, is creating a feeling of pride on main campus. Homecoming is a celebration of everything that it means to have gone to school at Temple and the football team has taken on the hard-working personality of the university's students, faculty, and alumni. The parking lot of Lincoln Financial Field is a sea of cherry. Alumni have begun their tailgates, and fans walking around have the opportunity to see some familiar faces. For Temple to progress like they progress now, and with the crowds and the people here, 
I mean, it's really tremendous. And it's overwhelming when you come in and you see something like this. The football team itself and the program has expanded to the point where it's just great for Temple, great for the area, and great for Philadelphia. And it's a pleasure to come back. But just inside the link is a celebration of another kind. It's the Temple Athletics Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Six of Temple's greatest athletes are entering the 2012 class, and two of them come from the football program. Quarterback Doug Schobert and linebacker Lance Johnstone still hold several all-time Temple football records on the field, and now they're forever memorialized off of it. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you help me induct Doug Schobert in the Temple Athletic Hall. In my neighborhood, it was decided by consensus that I should be the one to throw the football. Not because I was good at it, but because I was the slowest kid on the block. I'm truly sharing this award with my teammates, especially Coach Trentini and all of his offensive linemen. It's like Coach Harden used to say to me, every time you drop back to pass, Doug, a sane group of men has to keep a crazed group of men from hurting you. All you have to do is throw it. That's the fun part. Thank you, everyone, for all the fun I got to have. Walking through McGonagall all those years, just seeing the pictures of, you know, all the others that went um, in the Hall of Fame uh, back then always kind of inspired me. So to now be able to sit up there with them is a great honor. I, I want to just really uh, give thanks to the people who supported me uh, you know, the good times and bad times, run around the country uh, to uh, <laughs> make sure they try to make every game that they possibly could. That's pretty much it. Go Wilds, let's try to get us a win today. Back in the East. Emerging from the shadows of back-to-back -back defeats and following yet another bye week, Temple has had time to heal its injury and implement a game plan for South Florida. It's the first conference game of the season, a game that has arrived after eight years of waiting. In the military, they got something called LD. It's called the line of departure. On a mission, that's the last safe place you can be before you cross that line. Before we go on that field, it's called the line of departure. When you cross that line, you cross that line into the unsafe atmosphere. And those of you that cross with each other, you cross it knowing that your future, your outcome, depends on the guy next to you. And when you get 105 guys that'll cross the line, you got a team that's strong, that's strong for each other. And we're going to find out how many guys we have in here that are willing to cross the line and to go into a zone that's not safe, that's at risk, that comes with failure, but it comes with great reward that you gave yourself entirely to your team. Lay it all on the line with no guarantees and come back in here and celebrate and feel the exhilaration of what it means to be one. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Temple Football. Today, it's the Owls against the Bulls from the University of South Florida in Temple's first Big East Conference game in eight years. The game kicks off minutes after noon, and from the jump, the Owls don't shy away from the excitement of the moment. Chris Coyer orchestrates a six-play, 65-yard drive, giving Temple its first touchdown against a Big East opponent. Coyer in the gun. Harris to his left, and Coyer will keep it. Coyer, open field, 15-10-5, touchdown! Chris Coyer and the Temple Owls take a 6-0 lead on a 24-yard run. 
Ball is at the Temple 24-yard line. There's Daniels back beyond the 30. Pumps, looks, dumps it off oh. across the middle. Lamar wide open. He's at the 10-5 touchdown. South Florida has a 7-6 lead. With 10 days to prepare for B.J. Daniels, one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the conference, the Owls defense begins to figure out how to slow down the multi-threat QB. Big play here for Daniels. Four receivers, two to each side. Here comes Daniels, here comes the rush, and Daniels is going to be sacked back at the 26. Credit the rush of Shahid Paul Hill. Third down and six at the 16. Back he goes to throw. Here comes the rush. Oh, the ball's down. loose. The ball is loose at the 10-yard line. Hey, that's what I'm talking about right there. Hey, how many times can we get to his, how many times can we get to him today? The first half remains a defensive battle, but with just 127 left, Temple takes a shot at grabbing the lead before the break. Mattis is out there, and this will be a field goal for the lead. Brandon McManus gets his chance at redemption, this time from 50 yards away, after uncharacteristically missing two kicks moments earlier. Here's the snap, it's high, it's down, the kick is away. It's long enough, and let's see, it is good. Way to recover, Mr. McManus. It's 9-7 Temple here at halftime. Refuse to lose. Refuse to lose. Make your play. Fight, scratch, claw, strain. Find a way to make your plays to win this football game. Ask Adazio is presented by Philly's Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. I'm Brian Callahan from New Jersey. And Coach Adazio, what's the best thing about Temple coming back in the Big East? It feels great to be back in the Big East. We're in a BCS conference and we're playing some of the best teams in the country. Ask Adagio has been brought to you by Philly's Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. Minds made. Ideas made. Breakthroughs made. Status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way. Always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's what it is. Two quarters, 30 minutes. I told you guys one thing we have to do, this team has to do. We have to learn how to ratchet ourselves up. We have to feel it. You got to be able to feel that game right now and ratchet it, ratchet it. Where are the emotional leaders? Where are you on defense? Where are you on offense? Where are you on special teams? We asked you to come out here and play tough and physical. We have. We have 2.35 left on the clock. It's up to us, man. Decide who we want to be. Two quarters to be. Second down and seven at Temple's 19. Daniels on the option. Tosses to Murray. He's got a block at the 20. Murray's at the 15. 10-5. Oh, Murray's in for the touchdown. With the resiliency of the Owls being tested in the second half, the team goes to its bread and butter. Shotgun is Coyer. He gives to Matt Brown. He's got a blocker outside. He's at the 30, 25. He's out of bounds inside the 20. Another first, first down. The ball at the 15. Coyer. Here's Brown around the right side. He's got a block. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He dives. Touchdown, Matt Brown on a great run around the right edge. Temple reclaims the lead at 16 14 outs. From the nine yard line, Coyer with Harris to his right. Fakes to Harris. Looks to throw into the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, what a Cody ball. Cody Booth for the touchdown. I love it. Great call. And Temple leads 23-14. First down and goal coming up 
for South Florida. Daniel stays on the ground. Murray. Murray dives toward the goal line. Touchdown, South Florida. South Florida answers. Sitting on a two-point lead at the start of the fourth quarter, Montel Harris takes over. Coyer gives it to Harris, short side of the field, and gets it out. Look at this. Close to a first down. I think he got it. It's third down and goal. They spot it at the three. Here's Coyer to Harris. Harris left side. Harris looks for running room. Dives touchdown. across the plane for the touchdown. His first, and is it big? It extends the Temple lead 30 to 21. Another great drive by Temple, and Montel Harris is definitely the real thing. With the ball. Late in a roller coaster Big East contest, the Bulls have one more chance to play spoiler on homecoming. So that's going to be about a 45 yard try for a field goal. And the lead here in the final minute and 19. From the 35, it's a 45 yard attempt from the right hash mark for the lead with a minute 19 to play. Here's the placement kick. It's away. Oh, block. And it's blocked. The Temple has picked it up. The Owls come through with the block. over. That's it. Final score, Temple 37, South Florida 28 on homecoming day at Lincoln Financial Field. In the Huddle is presented by My Philly Lawyer. Go get two first downs. Change the field position. You let that combination off, you gotta go. Left up slot, freeze. Rock it, rock it. Under orange, under orange, ready. Rock, rock, don't do it. Two, two. Rock, rock, this is a great win for our program. It's, 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 it's an emotional win. It's Temple back in the Big East Conference, our first Big East game, making a statement that our program is headed in the right direction and we are, we'll be a valued member in this conference. In the Huddle has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. Now starting our BW of Langhorn, the all-new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-sized 2012 Passat at BW of Langhorn. The most class in its class with dual-zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. BW of Langhorn on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. The human body is a marvel of intertwined parts. Wouldn't it be nice if your family doctors and specialists were as perfectly connected? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Run, don't walk to Kelly Sports for your back-to-school needs. Opening day is about to kick off, and our selection is a big hit. Our prices are too good to pass up, so get to Kelly Sports and score big. We have all the latest styles from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. And we also carry Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts uniforms, as well as a large selection of athletic footwear. Kelly Sports, located at Route 202 and Matlack Street in Westchester. The Temple Tough Top Play is presented by Kelly Sports. So that's going to be about a 45-yard try for a field goal. And the lead here in the final minute and 19. From the 35, it's a 45-yard attempt from the right hash mark for the lead with a minute 19 to play. Here's the placement. Kick is away. Oh, block. And it's blocked. And Temple has picked it up. The Owls come through with the block. The Temple Tough Top Play has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. The Owls have even their record at 2-2. Two and two. And with a 1-0 start in Big East Conference play, there is a lot to build on, heading into their first conference road test against the University of Connecticut Huskies. A 2-0 start in conference play would make a huge impression on the rest of the league. It's an exciting time. You know, we're playing a really good team. This Connecticut team's got a really good defense, and uh, they're a veteran team. They've got eight returning on defense, seven returning on offense. So for us, um, you know, it's a great opportunity to 
go on the road, play a real strong team in a little, another little different pocket of the Northeast Corridor here. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to that challenge. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. Glansman Subaru is Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer. Check out Glansman Subaru for savings on your Subaru and you'll be sure to drive off in the Subaru that is right for you. With a knowledgeable, no pressure sales staff committed to 100% customer satisfaction and excellent financing on your Subaru, it's no wonder Glansman Subaru has been Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer for almost 40 years. Check out our entire inventory at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe at Glansman Subaru. Route 611 Jenkintown. Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. The human body is an amazing display of coordinated movement. Wouldn't it be nice if healthcare could be well coordinated too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Hi, I'm Tanya Cardoza, head women's basketball coach. Between school, work, and everything else going on in your life, eating right seems almost impossible. Instead of stressing about it, keep it simple. Take five minutes to make sure every meal includes five things. A fruit, a vegetable, a lean protein, a grain, and a source of calcium like dairy. For more great tips like this, visit the IBX Healthy Steps website. On the next episode of Temple Tough. The Owls are flying high after a win at Lincoln Financial Field, but they quickly turn their attention to the Huskies. Offensive line coach Justin Fry looks for the men up front to build off a big day on the ground. And it's a trip to the University of Connecticut for the Owls' first road game in its Big East schedule. Temple Tough. Behind the Scenes with Temple Football has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.